Thanks for coming back to part four of our reaction. Wow. Oh, this right. Let's barracks. go. The jail is at the end of the barracks. Okay. <laughs> They're explaining it. Yeah. It's like... I was about to be like, how did he know all that? It's like, am I crazy? What's going on? Yeah, that's the, that's the same beat he gave him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When he got bit by the snake. Yeah! <laughs> Bro! Kandlu ter pichinda na. You're whole again. Rama yani tol kosta nani sita mak mati chena. Gita lola lanka thagal bet. I hear that. Yep. Dude, you gotta do. Uh, get in touch with Mother Earth. Get that strength. Damn. Oh. Hurry. Okay. You know what to do. Uh, Put him on your back. There we go. There we go. Nothing is wasted in this movie. <laughs> it's like, don't worry, man. The upper body's straight. Give my legs. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Surprise. That's right. Meet the man bear. Yeah. Give me the all that. Man Give me the bear. gun. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. There you go. Be nice with Whoa. it. Whoa. Mm. Nice. We double oh. fisting these rifles. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, Teamwork. Yo, the team reload. I didn't know I needed that. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? Man bear, problem, sir. sir. <laughs> a, man bear, a man bear on the loose. <laughs> oh yeah, flip oh. him. Please flip him. That upper body strength. He's been training all day. <laughs> Damn. Oh. Oh, and, and you get the high ground? What the oh. hell? <laughs> okay. Whoa. <laughs> and he stuck the landing. Oh. <laughs> My knees hurt watching that, though, oh. to be fair. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love the team reload. reload. <laughs> I didn't know I needed a team reload in my life. <laughs> I needed a team reload. Audience, is that a statue of Ram? Oh, is Ram a, uh, a, the Rami, a god yeah, or goddess? Um, okay. Well, because there's a whole thing um, of the with Ram's name and Sita because they're two characters from the Ramayana and um, they were in love and Ram uh, went to save Sita. So. Okay, okay. But well, I'm, Sita I'm... came bearing gifts. <laughs> if that's the statue of Sita, right? That's what I, thought it was, I thought it was maybe a statue of Ram, but it might be a statue okay. of um, an Indian god. But I, okay. I, I don't know which one. Well, he, I definitely, I picked that up because he showed the proper respect before yeah. you know, he had to, you know, grab everything. Yeah, oh, it's definitely yeah, like, it's a, it's a beautiful gift, right? Yeah. Oh! Whoa. What the deuce? Nice shot. Oh my goodness. Fire! That was a good dip. I'm out of here. Yeah, that's the village. That's for what's her name, Mira's people. I bet, huh? 
Ramam. Ramam. Ah. That is so dope. Yes, sir. Papa like got his legs hero fixed. Of Let's legend. go. Mm hmm. He's looking at him like, that's my dog. That's my dog. That's my boy. Yeah. Exact your revenge. Mm. Nice. Wait, when did they set that up? But cool. Yeah, uh, yeah, I mean. <laughs> Sometimes the revenge goddess has things prepped for you. That's true. I mean, think about it, like, maybe he is, like, possessed by the god, god or goddess that you were talking about. Yeah. Because, remember, he couldn't walk or anything, and now he's able to, like, get around, he's shooting, you know, flaming arrows. Yeah. He might be a man, man possessed by the spirit. Yeah, for sure. And it also beam, uh, made him, Ooh. like, a, a thing for his leg. So that explains ah. it a little bit. Okay. But, I mean, yeah, for sure. And the song's telling us as well, right? He's the greatest of all warriors. Uh. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, you thought you could get away? No. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, the reinforcements. That's uh, quite a bit more than you've got arrows for. You ain't lying. I can't wait till you get yours, too. You sniveling little thing, you. Nice. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. You hit the bank shot down. No, oh, oh. here we go. Yeah, because that arrow turned into a spear. I'm telling yeah. you, they've they got to be like possessed by the, right. by the and, spirit, right? And here he is with the water as well. So we've still got that motif of like the fire and the water coming together. Yes. Yeah. Oh, look at all the grenades. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. Yeah, the spirit of your daddy said, I brought you gifts. Yes. <laughs> My man threw an arrow. Grenade on an arrow. All right, let's go. I'm here for it. Let's go. <laughs> mm. Yes. That's y'all's ass. I'm thinking the actors mm. must have spent so much time running in preparation for this movie because they look so badass. Like, just. Oh, nice move. Give me that. There you go. Get him. Close him out. Please yep. go get Mr. Snibbles. Mmm, goodness. Whoa. Oh. Oh, um, oh my god! My arrow back. Yes. <laughs> Not wasting arrows. No. All of that. Oh. Oh. Mm. Oh my gosh! The teamwork. <laughs> what a catch! <laughs> Damn. You know he's familiar with the with the cycle. Yeah. That's his thing. Give me that. Strong. Yeah. It's okay. It's a flesh wound. Uh oh. Merely a flesh. Yeah, Mr. Snivels. It's time for you to get it. <laughs> yup. I'm back. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, he already got him. He already got him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. These two. He's like, all right, we're coming for you. Oh, they got a cannon on the top of the roof, though. Right? Oh, bitch. Yeah, he's like, don't worry, brother, I got a ride. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> It's like, hold on, let me get this light work real quick. I gotta get my horse. Yes. Cause that's what we do. Yes. Slow 
their cannons. Ah, oh, damn you and your cannons. Can you see them? They're coming. Oof. Damn. That's a good horse. He ain't lying. Oh, bro code. Bro I love code the talk. bro I got you. code. I got you, fam. <laughs> like I, I communicate with my soul. I understand everything you say without words. <laughs> oh, just perfectly set up. Let's go. Please hit him in the face. Oh, we'll have to wait. That's oh. Okay. Oh, Conveniently no. in nice. the dynamite room. Oh, yeah. This looks cool, though. It does. I like the way they took the time with it. Mm. Wow. Wow. I wonder how they did that. Wow. What are you? What are we, okay. Oh, all I'm thinking about is like, but but y'all people need the guns. <laughs> wow, that was a big chunk of the budget. That was chunky. Yeah. It's done well though. Yeah, yeah, good, good. You know who it is? Good, yes. <laughs> yes, one down. Your evil self. Oh, and on barbed wire too. Oh. Uh. Good. Guess that's that's poetic because of the barbed the whip. That's right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not mad about it. Mm-mm. No, oh, I love me. You know, I love me some revenge movies. Yes. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> All of this. There we go. There's the like, weapons bro, for the people. I got you the guns. Yes. I know he's just like, bro, you should have just told me, man. I would have got you these guns earlier. <laughs> Promise me, he's very personal. Yeah, man, them too. He's like, I got you, dog. Yes. I won't fail you again. We're better when we're a team. Yes. Oh. oh. Okay, maybe shoot that guy. Yeah, please get him. Put it down. Ah! Yeah, good. <sighs> Give him the speech, please. Give him the speech. Yes. English order loss up to Samutra Ludato China, English bullet scott. Look at the rubble. Manalavala Prana Lakana Viluena bullet. Fares Kuntegala, Dirigiche beam. Oh, the Lord Kuntado. Lord. Wow. Oh, I'm so glad they made that choice. And well done. Yes. Shoot. Oh. The sun setting on the English Empire now. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's such a better choice. Because he embodied his father in that moment. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He's like, yo, don't worry. I keep Bro my here. promise. <laughs> we good. Look at him rolling up looking like a hero. No, he still got his, a bit of the spirit of the god and goddess in him. Aw. Huh. Guess I saw that coming. But then again, I should have. Although, I, a part of me goes, aw, but then also, he just killed your aunt and uncle. But yeah, all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Teach me, brother. I'm, you know, I'm giddy right now. I'm absolutely well, giddy. Everyone already knows how I feel about this because uh, Jabby and I already did our review. So mm -hmm. I'm going to leave the floor to you. How did you feel about this movie? Fun, fun as in uh, as the technical part of everything, just entertaining, because like you said, you said something about pacing earlier that is just very, very true. There's not 
any moments that make you forget that you're a part of, of the world, the environment that's, that's been created, right? Even when things slow down, there's never a point where it's just like, man, you know, oh man, I got the laundry on or yeah. grab something to eat. You, I, you, just, you just stay completely invested. I love that. The pacing is just really good. The way they go about just artistically going from one story to the next is so fluid. It's so seamless. Uh, when they want things to pop and be seen, it's, you, you see as clear as day when things need to be slowed down, everything is solid in a way that you can kind of let things sink in. You know, I know one thing that uh, me and Jabby always talk about is just how like editing styles have just drastically changed over just over the past few years and things are just so just super, 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 super quick. Mm -hmm. There are moments where things do move at that pace here, but the thing is that it's justifiable yeah. moments. It's like the, it has to happen like that in order to keep what's going on. But then when it does slow down, and it does have those moments where you just kind of need to just kind of like sit and let things kind of soak in. It's like, oh, okay. Thank you for allowing, like even just thank you for letting the actors be able to to move us with their talent, not yeah. just necessarily, you know, with, with the editor's talent. <laughs> not disrespect, no disrespect to the editors, but you know, these actors are good at what they do. Yeah. Let's let these scenes like breathe and let, let's soak them in for a while. I think the the, the standout character for me um, was was Raju. Yeah, Ram Charan played yes, Raju, Charan. yes, yeah. yeah. yes. He was best in show for me because I hated him. I loved him. I was misunderstood by him. I didn't want to give him a chance, but then I did. And then I, I wanted him to win. I was like, I was so conflicted all the way around. And I, and I loved that. You know, I'm saying all that is when I say I hate him, I'm saying that as a compliment because it, it sold me. But then yeah. when you find out the whys, it's all about the whys, right? Yeah. You know, for you to really get these good understandings with, the, with these characters. And I understood Beam's why. I, was, he, I never was conflicted about him. I was yeah. on Team Beam the entire way because, you know, you got to go back and you got to protect the babies. You know, yeah. you got to get the children. And then to see that yin and yang, the fire in the water, and then them having the, the the bromance and then it falling apart and going to pieces. This is like a romance story. Yeah. Like it, really, it really is. Like, it's just happened to have, you know, bullets, arrows, cool stunts, and, you know, a lot of explosions. But it's, it's, a, <laughs> it's a love story. <laughs> yeah. I love that about it. Like, it's just the, the purest bromance you could ever watch. And I feel like we don't celebrate friendships in cinema yeah. enough. You know, like, we're all about the love story and they included a bit of a love story in here but that was so ancillary because the main love story here was about two male friends who like become besties fall apart and then come together again and yeah. it's so satisfying and like I had to really hold back because obviously I've seen this before so I'm like no 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 it's going to be okay. Like, <laughs> you know, Ram is going to be fine. It's going to be okay. You, like, you don't need to hate him that much, but it was really you enjoyable. You tear my hair out, right? Yeah. I'm like, why are you doing this? <laughs> I can't stand you. Somebody please smack some sits into this man's face, please. Yeah. yeah. But you have to go through that, though, exactly. right? You, you got to have that journey. Or the payoff doesn't hit as much. Yeah. You know? That's the thing about this movie as well is like, you know, because we recently watched KGF Chapter 2 and then, mm -hmm. you know, we watched this and they're both epic movies. And for me, mm -hmm. even after watching this the second time, like, I'm sorry, KGF Chapter 2 fans. Like, <laughs> I still prefer this over Chapter 2, even though I enjoyed mm -hmm. Chapter 2 more, my mm -hmm. second viewing. But this one, I'm like... This has all the components. It's got mm -hmm. a great story. I, I love the storytelling in it because like they're feeding you different things about the character. And like you said, you know, it takes you on this roller coaster of emotions where one minute you're like, God, I, you're kind of awful, but you're a badass. And then, oh, now I'm on board with you because you're kind of cool. And then, oh my God, you're freaking evil. And then like, oh no, you're cool again. And you go through all of that and they, they piece it out in such a way that like the story just flows so well and the yeah. characters are compelling and, and like you love yeah. them so much and then the action is so cool so like yes it's like a complete package for me that's that's why I really enjoy this one yeah yeah I didn't even think about the comparison between like 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 KGF and this and I think that KGF is just it comes from a darker place yeah it's just revenge it's like old boy just revenge pure just this is some get back revenge gangster film it's that this is like more like a Guy Ritchie-ish kind of feel 
because you like going on the journey, the laughs and stuff. There wasn't like KGF didn't really have that. It, that wasn't what it was trying to, to build. Sure. It was just let, yeah. let me show you how I build this empire uh, and what and I'll do whatever it takes in order to build this empire. You know, everybody else be damned. This is more of everything that they're doing. All motives is based in love. Yeah. All of it. Yeah. It's all, all about the it. love. And like, I love that <laughs> message. I'm like, yes. Yeah. You know, yeah. and even when you don't know it's about the love. Oh, my gosh. Like the moment when it, when we go back into his backstory for his why and when his, the village gets Ugh. raided and and there's only one gun and that that's just that's tough. That's that's really yeah. Tough. But Papa moments always get me, you know. <laughs> yeah. Especially like the young, the you know, he's trying to. It's that moment where you're watching your son become a man, and he's there to bear witness as this is happening. He's trying mm -hmm. to keep him focused, and it's like nothing's ever going to be the same again. And now you're going to be have the burden of of taking care of you, your family, the land, the country. Yeah. You know, make this promise to me. You're no longer a boy, and the, and he just like. <laughs> loses his mind with it and just like ma murders all the people that he needs to but then just when you think like the message is like really sent home like this this my young son has become a man they up it up another level and a whole other flashback that happens like 30 40 minutes past the last one you're like oh yeah. there's more to this and then the father makes the ultimate sacrifice but the son has to be the one to pull the trigger for all that I was like ah oh, oh I, well, I see yeah. why you had to do what you had to do I get it yeah I get it the thing I love as well is they give you clues throughout like I remember the first time I watched that movie I remembered because the visuals are so vivid right so I saw his father's hand with a severed finger and then mm. I saw the son have to shoot and I was like oh what does that mean and then it didn't come into play in that first like big flashback and, I, and then I kind of forgot about it and then when the moment came I was like oh I know yeah. I know exactly what's happening and I, I love that about the film it's like and every little thing had a purpose even in the song where he's got his friend on his shoulders and he's doing squats and stuff and you're like mm -hmm. oh that's a really cute thing and then it comes back <laughs> later and it's it like pays no, off. everything yeah. has a payoff and I find yeah. that so satisfying when a movie does that like nothing is just you know for shits and giggles and and for looks it's like no 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 we're bringing it back and and they did and it was perfect i also want to shout out um a jay devgan because we were just talking about his scene but like you said when we were watching his small contribution to the film was just i mean his performance was incredible i think that might be one yes. of my favorite a jay devgan performances because it just like I don't know, it works so well with who he is. He just brings that gravitas. And it was such a pivotal moment in the understanding of Ram's character because mm -hmm. then you're like, oh, I get it. And that man is your father. You're his that son. That man is your dad. Yeah. Yes. And then it's yes. like, oh, no wonder you're so relentless. No wonder, yeah. like, even betraying your best friend is something that you're yeah. willing to do because you have a greater goal in mind. Like... Yes, he had his eye on the ball. You know, he knew what he had to do. He never deterred. I mean, but how could you when your father is that, right? Yeah. You know, and, and big shout out to, to Jay Defkin as well. He has uh, an incredible talent to age well as an actor. And, and I mean that in like, because I've seen some of his some of his earlier stuff and, you know, he's full blown action hero star, this, that and the third. And, and, it, and it works. But as he's aging from from the films that I've seen, yeah, he's taking roles as being like the wiser father or the wiser gangster or whatever it is like. And it works. And you can separate, you know, some of the some earlier stuff where he's like, you know, wa walking, passing, exploding cars, he's doing six flips and catching his glasses. And he's in that yeah. cool moment. And then there's those moments like we had in this one where he's like load shoot you know like the way that he's talking to him in this moment of like the all bets are off everything is depending on this moment so i can see my son become a man i was like those moments i was like wow this dude is he's got a lot of different ways that he can go about using using his body and his mind and his acting as a tool he's just really talented and i've said this a million times anytime he's on the screen he just commands your attention yeah. You know, you're like, what is that guy doing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't care about anything else. What is that guy doing? And this director, what, what's his name again? Uh, S.S. Rajamouli. 
S S Evron. Okay, so he has he has a talent for taking the grand and just making us enjoy the roller coaster ride of anything grand. Like a perfect example is the scene where they raiding the compound and all of the animals are out. Yeah. You know, like I forgot that it's really only one dude in there, right? And the rest is just the animals, but there's so much going on. You would have thought another army was in there fighting. You know, it's like, oh man, like the, everybody stayed busy to allow this one man to have this absolute superstar moment of him going in to get the little girl. And I was like, it was orchestrated perfectly. It was yeah. a perfect amount of chaos, you know, to make everything that he did, you know, make it, made it justifiable. It's like, yeah, well, you know, these guys worry about tigers and leopards and, ant and antelope, you know, yeah. <laughs> goring people and stuff. All of this works. Such fantastically good chaos. And the way it was lit with all the fire and the way the cool, the color... Yeah. He's impressive. Yeah, I mean, he, it's, he did it in Bahu Bali as well, but he just ramped it up even a little bit more yeah. on, on this one. It's like the level of spectacle is immense, and there's like there's a certain degree of like balancing realism with fantasy, which he does really mm. well, I think, because it's yes. like you know the stunts look cool, but they have that edge of being over the top, and you know like no one fights like that in real life, but like oh my god, does it look cool when you're watching? Watching it on the right. screen and then like, you're seeing yeah. these guys just be like superheroes and like it's just so awesome aesthetically it's so pleasing mm -hmm. like I really enjoyed the whole motif throughout of like the fire and the water yeah. and like incorporating that into the fights and into the character and stuff mm -hmm. like that I was just like yeah really really well done yeah. 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 There was one thing that did kind of throw me off just a just a little bit. I was expecting. I was expecting like the miracle shot. Like I thought he was gonna take the main dude that that ran the compound. I thought he was gonna like have like a half mile shot or something. Only oh. because they set it up with RJ Dev uh, when he when he realizes that his son had made that shot from like an impossible distance. Yeah. While the wood is spinning, I was like, oh, we're gonna definitely see that again. We did, but not on the grandest scale that I thought it was yeah. going to be. It's still, it's not a complaint. I was just, I bet the wrong horse. You know how, like, you know how we are. We're like, how's this going to end? I'm like, yeah, yeah. going to take like this crazy shot and take him out that way. But instead, it was like, no, no, no. We're going to destroy everything around you so you can watch your entire kingdom burn down to rubble. Watch your trifling wife uh, get caught up in this same bob wire and then we're both going to impale you. But the way they did it was even better than the impossible shot because he embodied his father in that moment when he was becoming a man and staying focused and he said he, he went through the same thing while uh, while he was sitting next to Beam. He gave him, the, gave him the honor, gave him the privilege. And that was the other thing that was kind of interesting too because in a lot of times in revenge films, you would have thought he would have wanted to be the one to take the shot, right? Mm -hmm. You know, I'm going to exact this revenge for making me, you know, shoot my dad and all this other stuff. But it's not about that. It's about telling the people how they can do this to protect themselves. So he gave him the honor because yeah. it's not really about his revenge. It's about the revenge of the people. Yeah. So I was like, oh, that's way more brilliant. Yeah, yeah, it's the arc of his character as well, isn't it? Because, I mean, I think earlier on, if he hadn't changed, then he probably would have been the one to want to take the shot. But his arc was realizing like, oh no, this is much bigger than me, a single person. And, and like, I hadn't even thought about that, about his dad until you said that while we were watching. I was like, oh yeah, no, I, I didn't think about how that had come full circle. And now he's the yeah. one um, he's the teaching, one. Oh. which is like, it's just so good. It's, it's brilliant storytelling telling yeah masterfully yeah. done you talked about briefly about like some of the stuff that is over the top like you know he was shooting grenades with a with a bow and arrow and it's like all right but you know you still want to have fun right yeah like that's the one thing i really loved about bahu bali like it's the the story is already like awesome and amazing and all these crazy things are happening but then you know you don't want to get stuck in an action scene that you can see something coming, right? That's sure, one thing yeah. We'll say about that's one thing I will give give uh, Indian cinema. Like, it's gonna be some stuff you just ain't gonna see coming. <laughs> it's not. It's very rare to say to say that something is gonna be predictable, right? Sure. Especially with, the, with with some of the more modern pieces that that I've seen, and I think that is what like we're we're seeing with this, like the grenades, uh, the the way you, he's dismounting people off of the motorcycle and the horses it's slightly over the top but it keeps it interesting mm -hmm. it's like do you want everything to be exact and that would never happen or do you want to have fun yeah you no know, i want to have i want to have fun yeah you know, that's the thing and that's what i get a lot from this director 
He's like, I'm gonna tell you something fun. This is gonna be cool, and you're gonna see some stuff you've never seen before. And you know, just suspend your disbelief and just enjoy. Are you having fun? Yes, I'm having fun. Let me yeah. give you more. Yeah. Yes, give me I more. Definitely, <laughs> definitely had a lot of fun. I think this might be one of my favorite SS Rajamouli films. I also loved Iga. I think that was his. Um, I haven't seen that. But um, yeah, this was fantastic. I like, loved I'm it. Sorry, I'm glad he bopped in the uh, music video too. I end. know. Uh, that was yeah. so <laughs> cute. Like, I love that, you know, he's big enough as a director that he can like take the stand in a way, like just to come forward in front of the camera as well and enjoy mm -hmm. and participate in that way in his own movie, which like... I think is so nice because you don't often see a lot of directors kind of coming in front of the of the camera and and being mm -mm. a part of the spectacle too. I, I just feel like yeah, it's so awesome. Like now we can show our love to you even more because you're like right there in front of the screen. We've got a face to a name, and yeah. it's it's just awesome. Yeah, I was happy that he had some gray hairs. I was like, <laughs> yeah, that's right, old older man. Older men can still do it. Just to give you a heads up. I'm kind of sound you youngins out here taking over. No. <laughs> no, but you know what it is though, as well. Like with the age and everything. Like with age comes experience and wisdom. Yes. And I feel like you know, from Bahu Bali to this, I can see mm -hmm. all of the leveling up that's happening. Yeah. And and for me, like the reason why I enjoy this so much more than Bahu Bali is that it it isn't just a visual visual spectacle. I had a hard time connecting to a lot of the story elements in Bahubali, mm. whereas this, mm. I'm like, story, yes, character, yes, <laughs> fun, yes, action, yeah. yes, yeah. all of the things. And yeah, I just think it's just like really complete. There's a, I think, oh my God, super popular in the early 2000s, his name is uh, Stephen Chow. Yes. Um, he did uh, Kung yes. Fu Hustles, the big one. Yeah. Um, I feel like I'm a huge fan of Stephen Chow first. I mean, let yeah. me say that because his, his movies are just a ton of fun. Ton, yeah. ton, 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 ton of fun. They typically have a really good story, good hero stories. But there's always this level of over the topness that he's known for. Like his stuff is his, his stuff can be like really over the top. But you go to his projects to see that, right? Yeah. You know, it, it doesn't conflict with the story whatsoever. It only enhances it. Right, like with Stephen Childs or the guys, the Hatchet Men, and they're doing all the crazy stuff with the stunts, or where they're running and it looks like cartoon characters and stuff like that. It's just like, oh my God, this this is absolutely ridiculous, and I want more. Yeah, I want more. But Stephen Childs is probably further on that end with when it comes to to the extremes that that he'll go to keep you entertained. But I'm happy that that this director recognizes that you know at the end of the day we're paying our money so that we could be entertained and he'll yeah, it takes. and people will yeah. pay good money to yeah. to watch this because it's yeah he's on my dope. radar yeah. yeah 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 he's on my radar thank you for introducing me yeah so <laughs> on that note thank you guys for going on this journey with us i hope you enjoyed the reaction and um yeah let us know your thoughts in the comments below uh do give Sintel a follow on his youtube channel and on his social media and if you haven't followed us here already please subscribe click that bell icon um so you know whenever we drop a new video and upvote this video if you enjoyed what you watched i'm achara kirk this is Hey, it's your boy Sintel. Ciao!